me see. What is this game about? Please choose your language. Uh, English. Feel free to click on this subscribe button. See, we got a Twitch prize. Have you played huh? Stanley Parable before? Did I click yes? I mean, I guess no. Please adjust your slider. There you go. Why am I asking you guys? I don't know. Enter your current time? Fuck me, dude. I don't know. Six. 43. Note. Dude, this looks like a fucking... What is this, what is this game about? Um, I, I know the game. Well, let's begin, I guess. The end is never. This like, is the story of a man named Stanley. Mm -hmm. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, That's telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. It got real. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. What did this game no about? No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Mm. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Wait, I changed the activity. Activity, ah, uh, Feel of view, ooh, there we go. Mass activity a bit lower. How about the audience, make it a little bit lower. I mean, it's too, too loud. I mean, do I have to shoot people in this game? I don't think so, right? I don't think I need that much fucking... There you go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Mm. You see. I guess... What's the, what's the meeting room, though? Am I schizophrenic? Hello? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This game is insane ass. What if, what if I don't feel like it? If I go right, what happens if I go right? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. What? Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay, I have to guess? I don't know. Yo, SM... All that SM Boxer, this for two and sub. Nano Talent, this for Prime. Mava, this for Prime, thank you. Ah... <sighs> Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Why is this guy, why is this guy being toxic? I mean, it's a nice room, I guess. But eager to get back to business, 
Stanley took the first open door on his left. <laughs> Dude, why? Dude, I don't like how he's telling me to do this thing. I don't, I don't know. What if I don't feel like it? Do not lie. If you're lying right now, stop. Should I go? Wait, what's the right? What's the right? Wait, this is the left, correct? He said left or right? I forgot. He said left? What's the catch though? What's the catch? Why is this door open though? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Where the fuck am I? But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. What the Good fuck? Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> Dude, I didn't know you could die in this game. Now what? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? <laughs> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memory. Can I jump? I cannot jump, but I can crouch. Oh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> I don't want my people to know what to do. I don't like it. Fine, I'll follow them. I'll follow them. Yet there was not a single person here either. What Feeling a wave of sheep. disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I just saw this with a co worker. Resent the co workers for not supporting you more. Let it ball up inside you. Take it out, pass it aggressively to the co workers. <laughs> Using a slice to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slice has a slick blue graphic in the header and it throws some beloved along the text. This will ensure a kind of environment. Everyone's unique. You must have fall. Okay. Is there anything else? The number of slides on this slide, man. Slides, charts, charts, and slides. For fuck's sake. A broom closet. What is this? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Is that like a secret here? There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Dude, I, I, why is this guy belittling me? I don't like it. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What about downstairs? What's downstairs? Dude, I don't get it. Oh, do, I, do I follow the game? I don't wanna, I don't wanna, see, what is this scary game? Is this if if I got the feeling money for stealing but not use of course says the lonely purse well there's a restroom I guess but it's about what's here a panda oh my god what the fuck Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Dude, what the fuck is elevator about? It's a car, is it the notes? going on and now I'm going what he bugged it oh wait is this a troll John. No fucking way. It's a fucking troll. Are you serious? Now I look like a fucking retard, bro. That's not fair. <laughs> now, now I feel stupid. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? <laughs> what he could not have known oil. was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. 2, 8, 4? I forgot, can you tell me again? Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device 85? was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Oh, 2845. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct Everything's code black. by sheer luck. Amazing. Oh. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Man, this looks like the fucking hood. What is this about? Is it another troll? This looks like this feels like portal. What am I supposed to do? I don't get it. What am I doing? Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel Is this, this scary game? when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. And why would I do that? I can go to I can escape. Wait. Why oh, will they randomly write? You're ugly, you're disgusting, I'm gonna kill you, give me $200. Red sent me go. to Red's gun. Uh, I don't like this. I'm gonna go left. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh, really, now? Actually, never mind. I'm not, I don't want to test it out. I didn't, I don't, I'm gonna continue with the game. I don't, of course, I, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had to too much to live for. Feel free to click on the subscribe button. See if you got a Twitch Prime sub available, huh? Or what, pussy? Or what? Nope. Still on board with death. Okay, maybe not. Dude, I don't. Well, let's check it out, I guess. I mean, fuck it. Feel free to click on this subscribe button see if you got a Twitch Prime sub available, huh? 
The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Oh my what God. horrible secret did this I'm place the FBI. hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Feel free to click on this subscribe button. See, we got a Twitch Prime sub available, huh? <laughs> this is like fucking the Twitch tab. They're fucking opening Amaranth stream in 12 different fucking screens. Now um, the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stan okay, co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant oh my nothing. god, man. It's like this, this Twitch TV headquarters. What is this game about? The fuck? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? What? Squid Game? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. Well, you're it the was one... unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? I mean... Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? This guy's the imposter. The, proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Dude, the narrator's the imposter. Working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Feel free to click for on the subscribe button. He would dismantle the controls on. once right. and for all. No, I don't want to do what this guy tells me. This guy's an imposter. He's trying to kill me, I think. What's on top? I can't even see here. Oh, I can't even get there. Fuck. Oh, I'm fucked, aren't I? Oh. I don't want to go there, bro. What is this about? Dude. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, mm. his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. No, I don't think so, Mr. Narrator. No, I don't think so. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Fuck After they you. kept you enslaved all these years, you now, go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Uh -oh. oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need What's to understand. There's oh. only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. What the In fuck? In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the what entire the complex. Fuck? How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. No! Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desire. I don't do. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy. No! It. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. What I, I do? I barely know where to start. Uh-oh. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. Can I go anywhere? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. 
Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, Wrong way. swallowing everyone Wrong way. inside. Wrong way. I, I can't go anywhere! I have to say this though, this version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. Uh -oh. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around oh. Oh. will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. No! But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are this precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what no, you're supposed to be broken. doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. What's happening? You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. What the fuck? This is not a challenge. What did I do? It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first. What so did I do? Can't. Wait, wait. Take a what look if... at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a wait, big Wait, I can, I can, maybe I can turn it off. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. No! Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. What the fuck happened? I'm dead? What? What is this game about? Yeah, the mission had this for ten months. Project this for Primate. The Snowyman this for Primate. Edlo this for Primate. Thank you, dude. It wasn't a raider. Oh no, wait. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wait, maybe he's escape. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Can I? I got an achievement called You Can Jump. What? <laughs> Fuck. Then what? What do I, what do, I do then? The fuck? When Stanley came to a set of two nope, open doors, balls, he fucking. entered. This was not the correct nope, way to the meeting fuck. room, and Stanley knew it perfectly I'm well. I'm doing exactly the opposite. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Okay, can I go back? Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a... But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. On his left. Oh, I don't think so. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Oh, really now, I'm not bitch? Your enemy. Really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is you that the story me. has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, can I jump here? Stanley. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have oh. zero consideration for others? 
Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. All right, prove Give it then. Chance. This game is making my schizophrenia act up. Oh god, oh no, six, 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 six. Where am I? Now listen carefully, this is important. Okay. Stanley walked through the red door. We do a little trolling. <laughs> Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. You can't stop me, game. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked <laughs> through the red door. Nope. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. What? Well, why is it then? You see? There's nothing here. It's orange. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Oh. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. <laughs> Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. You killed and in me. In the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. You were the one who Help killed me, me last time. Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You give me absolutely I mean, nothing gone, so maybe. far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. All right. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. What the Go ahead, fuck? Stanley. Take it for a spin. All right. I'm curious. Okay. I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited <laughs> from about? allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real mm. critical feedback here. Man, I'll say it's like a two, bro. I'll be honest. Oh, well, now this is useful. You didn't like it, but you didn't totally hate it either. You enjoyed it, perhaps is the correct term. Yeah. It didn't cause you excruciating pain. Mm. Big steps we've made here today, Stanley. Not bad. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. In the what the fuck is this? Awesome Ope Golden. Wait, wait, I'm reading. That's me. Wait, I'm last place? Seven hours? I don't think I've been spent. You're objectively ranked 9,328 out of nine. What? Why not ask some friends for help? Error friendless empty? Do you know that 20% of the players skip the intro sequence? Only the 3% of the players shoot the blue door. How long does it take for you to get to the correct door? Complete against others to improve your Stanley Parable career. This is your superior. A dead rat is a... <laughs> uh, well, that was cool, I guess. Okay, let's just go to the back to the orange door. No. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? No, Again, no, honest answers, no, please. no, you're a dick. Hey, no. I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. Okay. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Sure. Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. What? You click the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? 
Be sure to keep notes on your experience. <coughs> you heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite <laughs> me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm I completely gonna... out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for I, me. I don't know. I'm I, not even I, going I to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely no, valuable. Oh, come back! Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> then what the fuck? <gasps> ah, Firewatch! Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is the our motivation? Fuck? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. All right. What is this game about? Oh no. No, 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 it can't be. It is. It's an open world game. Good oh. God, quickly, block it off. Wait, what the oh. f Thank goodness, Stanley, what Why? a close call. You nearly wandered off into that, that thing, that big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game, preferably something with walls, something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> okay, I think this will be just the thing. What the fuck is happening? I'm playing Rocket League! Wonderful. See, what? this is exactly what I had in mind. What just a nice fuck? big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. What the fuck? Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. I'm fast as fuck. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Stanley, I have a thought. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric That's sports experience. I'm going to try it out. Here comes another ball. Yes! Oh, goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? <laughs> what the Stanley, fuck? I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. More balls! What is this guy doing? Oh, let's play ball again. Hold on. No! I fold the map. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. We still have so much. What the f fuck? <laughs> A raider.
Where are you? I need you. I fell the map. What the fuck is happening? Am I in the back? Am I gonna get jump scared? I don't like jump scares. I hate jump scares. Oh, it's a light here. Clueless? Guys, I don't like... Where the fuck am I? I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. So oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. My God. The end will be here soon. <laughs> Very soon. Society. I can wait. <sighs> Losing your mind. It's a blast ring. What? I'm back at the beginning? But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. Wait, I'm stuck! What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew this for sure so beyond weird. any doubt was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. What the fuck is happening? What? All of his co-workers were gone. What? what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I am never listening to this guy, fuck him. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What was but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Yeah. And so he detoured through the maintenance section walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Where am I? Where's this? But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to Where wander about, I, and dude? get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, from here, it's, um, left. For fuck's sake. Okay. Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. It's a trolling. No, 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 no. Not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the Why right? Why trolling me? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear. Would you hold on for a minute, please? <laughs> now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. 
I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. What the fuck is happening? No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. <laughs> Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, okay, okay. Can close my just, eyes. We just have to get back to, um, oh. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. For fuck's sake, I have to start again? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wait, can I lock myself out? When Stanley... Wait. What? Wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute what? ago. What? I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the Feel story. Feel free to click on this subscribe button. See, we got a Twitch Prime sub available, huh? All right, guys. One, two, three, four, five. I think a lot of fives. Well, let's go five, I guess. Where the fuck am I, bro? Hello? I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? What? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? No! So restarting the game! You fuck! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What the fuck? Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction Why is it and see notice? if we missed anything? Okay, what is this about? Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. What? Am I, the, am I schizophrenic? No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Get your shit together, bro! I'm tired of walking around! What the f- Now huh? this- Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. <laughs> Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It- Is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Would well, you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Yay! Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Let's go, I won! Oh no, no, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Wh Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Again? All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, 
I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. What Just the Just follow fuck? the line. How simple is that? No, no, I'm down. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. No, oh, he's not giving me an option. No. That. Ah, I saw the you line see? again. The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, this. Stanley, to destiny. The... Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation this of the bitch. nature of life itself? No. Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Okay. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence mm -hmm. is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mm. mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Music, what? go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. What is a, is this a fern? What is a fern? What is a fern? I don't know what a fern is. Is this this? Yes? Well, I mean... I mean, it's green, I guess, and it's a bunch of plants. Um, I don't know. What am I supposed to be looking at? I don't get it. Sus. Oh, wait. Oh. What? We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story. Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, no, 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 not again, <laughs> Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, the life after everything through. we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. No, stop restarting! For fuck's sake. Now what? You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something okay. exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay, I guess. I... Now, 
Yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. I know, Whatever guns. it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Maybe, like, shoot someone? I don't know. I'll be funny. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. Okay. Fine. Yes. Ah, a choice. What the we fuck? We get to is... make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Okay. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So okay. starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to Aww. where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. What about the left Come, one? Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. What about the left one, though? Are you serious? Uh, all right. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. What? You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? Eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing. What? Wall. Everyone forgets where it well, starts? who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Why not? And the time return stopped? Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? What the, um, the fuck? Whatever it is that made this schedule. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait, you know. All right. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> no. I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... Oh! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Are we in a normal one now? Is he okay? I think he got reset it. Is he alright? Wait. Huh? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What the f fuck is happening? Well, I mean... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. I think we're back to Perhaps stage he one. Perhaps wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to The line it. is right there. Why is the line there? Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley, for the f but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. 
Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. About me? There's someone you've been neglecting, Stan. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not That's asking for me. For being less than three I'm love you, her. Red Shell. Less than three hope you've been having fun with Overwatch 2. This Red is it, Red Stan. Red your chance to redeem yourself. Thank you. To put today. your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. She? Oh, women. This is black, though. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Oh, right. I can die sexy. Okay, there we go. Yeah. All right, now, I want yeah. you to come in and tell me all about your day. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. What the fuck? This man, is a very man, sad I still story fuck it. I don't about care, the death man. of a man named Stanley. Wait, what? Press I on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. No, I'm not pressing it. Fuck my dick. Nope. E. D. F. No, there's no ending. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. You're literally now he's pushing a button. Now He's eating lunch. I don't like now, it. He's going home. No. Yeah, I thought we're homies. I thought work. we're cool. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Feel free to click on this subscribe button. See, we got a Twitch Prime sub available, huh? Please press B. Is there anywhere that I can go? But in yes. his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Plays V to watch TV, I guess watch TV And again. so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Less you to spend time with the boys. No boys! So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy world, what the fuck he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. That and down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. 
It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, what the fuck? and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Surely. Please ask to tell your wife you love her. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Want me to go to sleep, I guess. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, what he's slowly fuck? killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that I he'll understand it. that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I'm not pressing it. No. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him I guess to. I'll press it, sir. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. All of his co-workers were gone. Why is it blue still? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What the fuck? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might oh, find I an answer down there. here. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No, I don't think so. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers what? blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. Am and I as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. 
and he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. What I may fuck? as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. What the Then he fuck? imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. What the How was he fuck? remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all what? very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? What the hell? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact what a dream. The fuck? Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. What the so fuck? So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. What the fuck is happening? I am okay. Holy fuck, that's schizophrenia. Rup row. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. What Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. What the fuck? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Well, that's me! And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. <laughs> I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, normal. seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. The average retro viewer feeling better watching retro. What the fuck? Wait. The phone. Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Can you verify that this is correct? 
Excellent. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. Where's the narrator? Narrator? <gasps> New content! Oh. New content? What does that mean? New content. Oh, new content. More content rewards too, no way! <laughs> Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Hog? After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that new broadens content. and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Hog? Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Ooh. Parable new Ultra content. Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. I guess. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? <laughs> should we, the two, the two should we be no moving way. somewhere? Uh, uh, no way. Oh, there we go. Oh. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. This is unironically fucking like the Overwatch mm. beta, bro. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe mostly tedious. It's as if them. Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Content. All right. Content. All right. Let's see. It's the jump circle. <laughs> This is actually unironically Overwatch 2. <laughs> no way. I guess we just hop, I guess. Oh, that's very fun. <laughs> it's. Is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness, another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? <laughs> if this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if, oh wait, there's more. Very good. There's more. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. That's it? <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me, you see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And no don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship way. that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance <laughs> department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <laughs> it's my fault, Stanley. Holy I built up too fuck. much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about? 
No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? <laughs> Dude, that was unironically Overwatch 2. <laughs> Whoa! One new character after four years? Whoa! Let's hope that it's cool. Psst! Stanley! What? Come over here! In the vent! I want to show you something! A bad thing! Among us. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it yeah. got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Is this Dark Souls? Oh. I call it the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Oh, you see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back oh, then, it true. all meant something. True. Oh, the waste. <laughs> Gold side achievement. Don't play for five years. <laughs> Unachievable. It's impossible to get this achievement. Fucking hell. Man, this is kind of fucked up, but it's kind of true though. Holy fuck. Video game companies are such fucking dog shit nowadays. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James <laughs> Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art. Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. Right? It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It Persona was 3. all of them. And now, it's nothing. Skyrim. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Yeah, yeah, I'll be honest, this guy, they're like, I, I, I like this. I, it's actually pretty impressive because they're they're talking about like, uh, they're talking about how um, video game companies just do this nowadays, and it's kind of true to be honest. Overwatch 2 is a very good example of it, to be honest. But yeah. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both Cyberpunk a richly too. stimulating yeah. commentary on the nature no of choice in games, Cyberpunk. and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. Bro. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. It's kind of depressing how like nowadays companies don't make good video games anymore. And it's mainly, it's mostly the fault of, co of consumers. Nowadays it's just easy to just like... Consumers just kind of like, I don't know. Like, every company now, this <sighs> just sucks dick, to be honest. These were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Same. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, oh, the my. online video game distributor. 
I haven't looked at these in years. Uh, 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 I can't even bro, imagine bro. what's been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Certainly. <laughs> Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and <laughs> dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Lucio more like funny. <laughs> trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a funny XDX handful of gags to insert into the Stanley parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. All wrong, sadness. I'll read something later, Chad. I, I don't want to read something when I'm playing the game. Oh my god, this is actually very well made. What this one says? I can't even read this one. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, na, 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 for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? Ah, you can tell me I'll if I'm preachy. Be. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Aww. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Me too, Stanley, me too. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. All right. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on. I don't want to skip on. it. No, no, no. The Stanley Parable I feel bad is now. a game for the people. And if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue. And it goes something like this. The story, and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time, everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 we've eaten too much and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245, that the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction, therefore, becomes impossible to manufacture, it went on for nearly 10,000 years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say, the story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 blah. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go... 
Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. Okay. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just, wait... How do we get out of here? Where did the door go? No Wasn't door. Wasn't there a door that led into this room? I do feel quite certain that there was one here before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do you see? Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 <laughs> hours! You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer, and my god, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Aww. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. Or two weeks? I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting Aww. here, not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't, Stanley. It isn't the I same do at all. It. I feel bad. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once bad. you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every brunching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words that I'm saying, I need to know. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever what? sat down in one a place year? and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing uh, at all but regret uh, for the longest time, Stanley. Days, months, I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant, I could see myself clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. Should I press it chance? was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and disgust simultaneously. I was consumed by it. I could do nothing but wallow in it for what felt like an it. He's gone! Now, Raider, come back! But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful what? demands. But then he's talking too much. They said, first, he didn't entertain us. Now he... Raider? The 
the end is never 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 the what the f Raider you there Raider? I don't feel so good. again and now it's gone holy shit full despair bro anymore what I'm free or am I free The end is never the end. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from what? others. What? Is that so the, the end? the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Okay. New, new content. Oh, good. You notice my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. More content. Bag. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley burn. parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe Fuck, version has myself. turned out to oh. be. The original Stanley Fuck. parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Two. Oh my god, say Breville 2! No way! Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a it's measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so Overwatch many different two. directions. No way. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Overwatch 2. Fuck Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? <laughs> Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? <laughs> but the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising no potential. No fucking way, dude. 
Oh my god. This is too accurate though, holy fuck. Accurate. Oh my god, my lizard. What a fucking coincidence playing this game. Hold on. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Oh, game no. development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. New features. Two, two, two. Oh my god, this is so real. A car. Alright, let's see what the new cotton's about. Surely it's not gonna be like another game, right? Oh wow! Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. The button that says the name of the player that's playing the game. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is Road that they want to, to be the individually recognized <laughs> and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says oh, the name Jim. My God. But of course, in the final game, this button will say <laughs> your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I'm Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping mm -hmm. and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities I as Jim. Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If yes. so, then please step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see? What a thrill, what a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again, do it again. Jim. Ooh, it hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. No. Let's take a break <laughs> from the Jim button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Oh, there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. Otherwise, no. soon you'll start Jim. to lose all Jim. sense of who Jim. you actually are. Jim. 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 No! The gym button! Why is this game... This game is such a masterpiece. Holy fuck. I thought it would be just a shit... I thought it would be a shitty game, man. But it turns out it's actually a really good game, holy fuck. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable 2. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. Please, no screenshots. A whole new office. Red is the new orange. <laughs> they just changed the fucking... They just changed the fucking thing in a way. New feature, new company, new ideas. The jump circle, the infinite hole, the button that says the player's name. I want one on the right that says, this merch. I saw the new content. <laughs> the Stanley Parable 2 resurrect the resurrate reasuration bucket. What the hell is reasuration? A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. 
A bucket you of may water? even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Oh. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? Yeah. All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Do I have? Do I get to keep the bucket? I guess I do. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? <laughs> that really should be an award if it isn't already. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? What is he talking about? Yeah, well, someday, happy 12th. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well, someday it is. What? But I want the right one. <laughs> Get well, someday. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Where am I? You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable I have jump as well. Circle. It's a... Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece, then. You tell me I can't replay the game? Are you serious? Hey, wait, wait, is there anything else that we're missing? The bucket? Dude, I don't want the bucket in my screen, bro. Alright, let's see. Ah, uh, what is this? Expo Hall. Guess we're in the collectibles area? The infinite hall in one end. Yeah, let's go check it out. Let's go check out the infinite hall. Oh. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Oh. You see? Isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, what if I do say so. What the fuck? Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Oh. Okay. And I guess we're back in the hole now. <laughs> Did you really need to see it again? Yes. I don't know what else there is to say, Stanley. It's an infinite hole. It's exactly what you're doing right now, but forever. There really are so many other fascinating exhibits that I've prepared for you. I really spent quite a lot of time on all this, and I would very much like to show you some more of them. How about we go ahead and press that teleport button again, so we can get back to what's really important about... Oh, goodness. Well, this is rather embarrassing, Stan. It's not infinite? I'll be honest with you. I truly did not believe that anyone would actually stay in the hole long enough to hit the bottom. Yes, I know. I told you the hole was infinite, but come on. <laughs> Who actually wants to fall forever? 
The hole was plenty deep. It was more than deep enough, in my opinion. Maybe it's you who likes falling too much. Maybe you're the problem. What? <sighs> Look, uh, the things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. I didn't say Why anything. Don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite. If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Oh, for heaven. You see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole. What the I fuck? I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. <laughs> if this starts to become a thing where... Wow. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call what? the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. How is this still appealing to you? <laughs> I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Is the, um... Oh my god, it's not working. working! You sure? Well, I mean... I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. Still nothing? Well, I suppose... Uh, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away no, from the hole. No! Don't leave it here, now you you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a no. win for everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. No! Take care, Stanley. Give me out! I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of it. No! Come back! That's his perspective. What the fuck? <laughs> the Bible sound effects. <laughs> I got the buckets there as well. Do you ever, uh, like, spill out the fur of a hill? Uh, I don't know that. Yeah. 
Change yourself. <laughs> Error. You're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into creepy. What the fuck? We can't have that, Stanley. Because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. Give me so out this whole dipshit. If I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really truly focused on the hole. From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. And I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. To the pit. How do I leave this? Oh. I'm out to the hole. Here we are. Go on. Try out some back, to back to the hole! Back to the hole, back to the hole, back to the hole, back to the hole! Ho, 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 ho. Now it's closed! You bitch! You fucking bitch. No. I guess it's gonna free new achievements. Free new and post easy achievements. All right? Can you see this? All right, let's see. Just pull the lever. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as... Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Wait, right now, the achievement work? is still fully broken. How? I'm not a wizard, Stanley. But I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. Fucking hell, it's just Overwatch 2 all over again. Fuck my life. Don't worry, guys, we'll fix the game eventually, surely. Surely we're not getting paid to do absolutely nothing every single day. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? The collectibles. Ooh. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. What? I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. You gotta be fucking kidding. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. This game is so fucking dank. Five more to go, I guess. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Yeah. Ready to move on now? Yeah, pretty much.
Please, no screenshots. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? They don't even yes, work. I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely I don't have a F12 good game shadow, in sorry. there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. All right. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Pog! It has a hole! Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They no. would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and okay. simply, well, mm. insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, mm. of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Real. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. It's Tally Parable 2. Oh my god, this is literally just Overwatch. Oh my god. No way. All right, let's begin the game. <laughs> this is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building the where balloons. he was employee number 427. Oh, employee thing. number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push. Hey, champ, how long that's to push. really interesting. <laughs> Next time, keep it to yourself. This is what employee 427 <laughs> did every day of every month of every year. And although uh, others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley yeah, there, relished right, every awesome. moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Ah, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see this. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the mo- I mean, the balloons are there, I guess. All of his co-workers were gone. What could he Get mean? well someday. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hi. Stanley picked up the bucket. Awesome, I guess. Well, I can't pass. <laughs> no way. It's just the same game with a bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I just made this fall, he says. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. <laughs> Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Feel free to click on this subscribe oh, button. See if you got a Twitch can you feel it? Available, huh? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. 
The bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your what companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh, no. We're getting into name-calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons. But even what this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your <laughs> path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by well, point. Well, I mean, I pick Share it your up journal entries detailing the rich I'll emotional landscape here. of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, I picked up the buckets and now I'm here, I guess. Okay, I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Okay. Here we go. There. Oh, it's now mine. it's settled. No more debate, no more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the it's nature of cleaning now. supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. And now I feel like a, like a special kid. All right, I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. You see? I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Oh, it's a bucket. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. I'm gonna stay here. You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. What? Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. No, I'm staying here. All right, I guess there's nothing else. Oh. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs the to bucket. the boss's office. What's below? I guess we're going to the stairs, I guess. I guess. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light <laughs> pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were in Holy fuck, shut the At this fuck point, up! Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. 
But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Holy yes. fuck. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Still strong, man, the bucket. A collectible! You found one of them. One of the Ooh. miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. This game is so meta, bro. Holy fuck. This game is so dank. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. The bucket. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Wait, I can go back up. Wait, Stanley said to the bucket. Can we go back up? When I was pressing those keypad buttons, there was something very intriguing about the number three. What? I want to go back so I can try pressing the number three again. The bucket said nothing. <laughs> what the fuck? Why, was I supposed to come here? Here we are, said Stanley. Now I'm going to try out that number three button. He took the bucket over to the keypad and began absolutely slamming on the number three over and over and over. Well, he said, the number three is such a special button, I'm having the time of my life. Stanley looked expectantly at the bucket, but the bucket remained silent. <laughs> this was a shock to Stanley, who had always felt such connection with the bucket. How was this not as exciting to the bucket as it was to him? <laughs> Once Stanley had had enough of the number three, he got back in the elevator. Perhaps the bucket had missed something. Perhaps it had not seen how much joy Stanley got from slamming the number three repeatedly. Oh, yeah, yeah, am I schizophrenic? What is this game about? A hint of regret nagged in the back of Stanley's mind. Should he demonstrate? Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. But of is, course, is it, is Stanley the same and the game, bucket thought better except, of it and realized the they bucket. simply had too much to live for. Well, should I go left or right? Should I go left or right? Feel free to click on this subscribe nope. button and see if you got a Twitch Prime sub available. It's Stanley huh? in the bucket. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley in the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley and the bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. Should I do it? Oh. Fuck it. What the fuck? Monk As the machine ass. whirled into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket, but no! what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? No! This is what Stanley thought to no, himself, no, 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 and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. 
as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end. It's a woman it now. was crushed violently to death. Hold oh, on, give me a second, Charles. Where's my phone? Where's my phone at? Ah, uh, another power phone. Now what? Stanley Parable? It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all <laughs> buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. The it was a glorious bucket to behold. The buckets. What is this about? What? Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more what? noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? What the fuck is this game? Inferno bucket. The stress of a bucket. Analogy. Why is it dying giving out a bucket? Are you serious? <laughs> no man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. It's the infinite hole of the bucket. What is happening? But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. What happened? Am I there? Oh, it's different now. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over him. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. That's weird. What is this game about, bro? How can we find them? Bottom text. There will, there will be a reward for finding them all. <laughs> for fuck's sake. In the broom? Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet, <laughs> simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But alas, no stickers. No more stickers, Sag. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs Should to I? the boss's office. I guess we go on top, I guess. I guess. Is this game any different? <laughs> the elevator! Maybe this, maybe the sequel, they do something with the elevator.
I guess not. Well, the toilet? You're right, the toilet. I forgot. Dude, I like the fact that the entire game is just the same game, except you have a fucking bucket. <gasps> Guys! Another miniature Stanley figure. Oh my figure god! Out. This, um... Chills! You know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Another Stanlerine, huh? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned Do to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. I guess we have to fin- okay, should we try finishing the game with the bucket? Left again. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that left read again. Mind Control nah. Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. We haven't even finished the game. We haven't even finished the, the normal ending. Chatters, we haven't even finished the normal ending. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea Wait. pigs. The bucket had never seen anything, but just as Stanley was about what to proceed the further into the what? mind control facility, he ha tripped and fell over the railing and into huh? the dark void below. Thankfully, he fell directly onto the bucket, which safely cushioned his fall. Classic. Now, what to do next, Stanley wondered. What? Stanley and the bucket could find no way out of this enormous pit, and so eventually, they decided that the best thing to do would be to simply get comfortable down here. So they set up a little couch and relaxed. It really wasn't so bad down here, a bit cold, perhaps. After some time had gone by, they installed a few shelves as well, and a Ooh. sort of kitchenette that was useful for when the bucket was craving paninias. But it wasn't until the rugs and the standing lamps came in that it really started to feel like a home. What the fuck? In fact, after some time, Stanley realized that it had been ages since he had even thought of the mind control facility at all. He'd never gotten to fully explore what was up there, never been able to unearth the many mysteries of the mind control facility. This lack of closure began to eat at him. Soon he was dwelling on his regrets, and the state of their home slowly decayed as Stanley became withdrawn and neglected the cleaning. It unsettled the bucket deeply. What the fuck? Stanley wasn't usually like this. The bucket tried to reach out to him again and again, but to no avail. All Stanley could think about, all he could talk about, was going back, doing it over again, staying on the path. What the f- It was a mistake to leave the path. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. I need to do what the narrator says. I need to see the true ending. This made no sense at all to the bucket, which was simply <laughs> trying to live its life down here as comfortably as possible. Yet Stanley was unconsolable. This isn't an ending. This is just a hole in the ground. And it's true. The bucket sighed. True, it wasn't an ending. But it's where we happen to be. And maybe, possibly, if we accept the reality of things, maybe this will become an ending eventually. Dude, this game is so down. It's what the bucket was counting on. The two of them waited for a very long time. This game is so fucking dank. All of his co-workers No were bucket? Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply Where's missed the bucket? Memory. No! Oh. 
The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced Buckets. the bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. I have met. Do you know what's a weird thing? I haven't even gone to the normal ending. <laughs> and here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was no. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Should we go left? You guys think? Oh, what was below? What about in front? Uh, well, it's just doing all right, I guess. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. <laughs> the cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Yes, bucket. Good, said the bucket. Yes, master. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Oh, well, I didn't. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, <laughs> what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. What? Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire what? consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. What the fuck? Now then. I'm going to run you through some test scenarios, and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Okay. Simply enough, right? Yeah. This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. What the okay, fuck? Okay, let's begin. All right. Show me. Item one. Is this a bucket? Yes. Incorrect. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Are you serious? Item two, is this a bucket? Yes. Incorrect. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual what bucket. What the fuck, man? It's just, that's, a, that's still a bucket though, that's still a bucket. Item three, is this a bucket? I wanna say, no. Incorrect. What? This is a bucket. What? Item four. Is this a bucket? I mean, is it a bucket? I mean, no, right? It has, it, it can be a bucket. But what if it's a trick question? Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. It's an enormous machine that tills the earth. I thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. Let's just move on to the next one. Is this a bucket? No. Incorrect. This is a bucket. What? Shut the fuck up! No! That doesn't make any sense! Item 6. Is this a bucket? What? Yes? Trick question. 
both. Gotcha. Item... Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. What do you mean it's both? Okay. You and I both know there isn't anything here. And I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something. And therefore nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? Kinda, right? You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now, I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. No! Okay. Here we go. No, don't! What happened? Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait, was everything a bucket? <laughs> Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my god, I had no idea. How could... except me? I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. What no, the this is wonderful fuck? news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. What? What the fuck? The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would... Warmth spread through Stanley's The arms. bucket! With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. All right, then. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. Let's and go... The door on his um... Where do we go? Let's go right side on top. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Let's go on top. Stanley Let's the took buckets. the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. A cargo lift. Yeah, good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's no, something up there I need you to do. There. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Oh, I guess we'll get that another time. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. All right, I guess we we'll follow the bucket, Chatters. Maybe the bucket knows what he's doing. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone, and it will take us back home, where we can go about life together. Should I pick it up? Unplug it? Whoa, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you oh. and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A talking bucket. Ugh. Can't you see? Oh, oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually <laughs> took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? 
Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? Hmm, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it, but there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully... Oh, wait, yes, there is. Um, it's sitting right here. Let's take a look. Bag? What is comedic timing? What the fuck? What is comedic timing? How does it work? How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? And more importantly, what? can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. Whoa. Let's dive deeper. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit with what? one of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 degree angle from your body. These are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh, and then spell out your name a second time. My with name these steps is complete, Rachel. it's time to begin the humor. Among Speak us. the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half, what? pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. When the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. <laughs> Let's practice screaming, I'm Dunny with the funny now. Good. This saying is a perfect example of expectations no, management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard data from your audience on how rapt they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted the several times, oh my God. just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Oh. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all, with each of us needed on the, the front funny. lines of the war that. to fight the 12-legged invader who threaten our very existence and who very likely die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles, all of us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause, just as our children must do after us and their children after them. Godspeed and may Earth reign supreme. Hey, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic <laughs> timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. All right. Come along, let's head back. All right, let's go. I'm done. Oh, he fucking put a cage now. I can feel it. This time, I'm really going to I'm nail the delivery. With the funny. You'll be in My stickers. Talking bucket, you'll say. How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we had the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now? Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink things. The bucket spoke to Stanley. I'm a dunny with the funny. Holy fuck, man. This game is just a fucking reference of my life, Jesus. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> yeah. When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. What? Uh, 
we're back at the phone already. No, 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 what's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. What the hell? There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. What an egregious mistake. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of King of Comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the oh. lowliest joke-telling wealth. No. I think... I think I need to go back and rewatch that instructional video again. Yes, surely that will help me improve my... Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> When Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. I feel bad. I'm not... No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the what right, the fuck? leading back to the phone. Did you not even look at the instructional video? I think this is all covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. What do you the mean? The joke is completely down and over. It's all no, I want your fault. fault, Stanley. You little I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. I Are did. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? Stanley, you love the bucket so much, it's like you... Um, it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. Yes. Let, well, let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. No? Still not? It, is it the delivery? Pale with shame. Pale with shame? Pale... What's another word to describe a bucket? Stanley, this bucket is so metal, I think I saw it playing guitar. No, 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 no. We're getting away from making fun of Stanley's obsession with the bucket, which was the whole point of this. I'm just, I'm no good at these jokes. Guys, the fucking crazy. Need more instructional videos. That's exactly what it is. That's what will make me the king of comedy again. More instructional videos. Let's see. Let's see. What the fuck? There's one more, I guess. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again, not truly alone. So the not entire the sequel alone. of this game is just Stanley a bucket? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest Let's and go left. entered the door on his left. Up to find them, bottom text. Stanley, we must move on from this broom Fuck. closet. Simply let's go, because let's, let's I have downwards. no coming to a staircase. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for uh, that. We're, we're, and in we're such back a competitive economy, Wait. why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. Oh, this is the and same then, ending, I think. Something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his oh, eyes. Wait, wait, am I crazy? He asked the bucket. <laughs> the bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. Mm. He held the bucket close. He had felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Uh -oh. Surely no good would come from this. Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. The bucket's gone. And indeed. Now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious, he exclaimed. Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's me, the bucket. 
could it truly be? Buckets. He rushed forward from room to room, passing by oh. one bucket after the next. None of them were his. None of them were his special bucket. There's buckets Come everywhere. Come to me, Stanley. Find me. He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. What? It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. What the fuck? I'm the bucket? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket any? of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. <laughs> But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body the of a man bucket. who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, oh. she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. <laughs> of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought, and she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no You know, I gotta this. say, this game is fucking amazing, dude. Like, like, the amount of effort it is just one, work, like, for which her bucket would the first game is a shit post, but the one, the second, the sequel with a bucket, Heck, yes, she thought it's just, I even more of a sequel. Uh, kicks ass, and she backflipped all the way to work. This game is the biggest shit post ever. Oh, it's a phone call. Hello, this is a recorded message scheduled either by you or a person in your place of work. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. If at any time you believe you are listening to a recorded message, please terminate it immediately and cease all flow of information from the recorded message into your perceptual sphere. Thank you and have a pleasant day. Bucket, this good old bucket. Bucket, Just Stanley and the bucket, off on another thrilling adventure together. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door. Wait, head. what do we do next? Should we finish? This is a normal, a normal ending, right? Frost accomplishes instinct. I'm not doing the collect the collectibles. I do nothing. They Coming literally do nothing. Place, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Let's go. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not. Hey, what happens if I don't fucking any do anything? Life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now. In his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him, always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. What if I don't do it? What if I don't click on it? Then what about it, bitch? Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Two eight four five. Yeah, where's the hole? Where's the hole? We haven't seen the hole. Oh wait, what was it? Two eight four five. I guess we have to. Forgot. 
but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened oh. all by itself. I guess if you don't and play Stanley the game. got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. I guess never mind. I guess you cannot. Yeah, where's the gym button too? You guys are right. Where is the gym button? I mean, the name button, brother. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Let's go. Let's actually do the ending. Let's do the end, normal ending. Let's see what happens. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. How did I even, how did I even left this game, by the way? How did I fell off? I fell off by accident. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being they... videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly oh. burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. The buckets. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? The buckets. These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter his one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except the bucket. The bucket. True. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Guess, Stanley decided I... that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls. Yeah, I cannot believe group. the last Two ending we're gonna do friends, is the ending Stanley the and real the bucket ending. Up. Oh. What happened? Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, the good to ending. support. And... Oh. What? Wait. What was happening? No way. Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the Bucket not about to be freed? No. An unbearable silence filled the room lingering in uncertainty until finally the truth hit stanley square in the face this building did not want the bucket to leave even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket needed the soothing warmth of the bucket would go to any lengths not to part with the bucket no 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 stanley can't leave this place not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley <laughs> thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Wait, is that it? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? 
Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps but there's no more I, I think I think I said I think we have done almost every fucking Do it at the bucket. Do the figurines. No bucket, huh? There's many more. There's a more, you when know. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This yeah, I want, I want to do the red, the, the, the red door. And Let's just do. I'll do one, one, one more, and then I'm done. Perhaps he wanted to stop the red by door the employee one. We lounge done. first, just to admire it. And here it was, the lounge. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And the collectibles. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. The collectible. Yes. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? I need two more. What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Two more. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. It's open right there. You see it, champ? How do I get there, though? Let's see what happens if I bent. What happens when I bent? What? Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shall so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shall so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shall so far off the beaten path. You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording. It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet oh, each I and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. What's a dick? How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. Uh, now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your How fault. are you sad? Was that it? Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. Where are we going today? The bucket asked. Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went together Bucket would be time. perfectly fine with him. Hold on. I don't want the bucket. I want to I want do the, the red door without the bucket. How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. This is great, he thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. We haven't done the red, we haven't done the, the red came door, to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Bum, 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 bum. It was okay. This is pretty funny, but to be eager honest. to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door people, on his left. Some people in the chat were saying there's so many, so many endings. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Yeah, I'll be in chat saying that there's a lot, a lot of enemies. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. How do I but get the down fact there, is though? That the story that has door? been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you no something beautiful. No fucking this point. Look, let me prove it. For fuck's let sake. me prove that I'm on your oh, side. Oh, this thing. Here we go. Give me a chance. 
Now listen carefully, this is important. Mm -hmm. Stanley walked through the red door. Ah, uh, let's actually follow him this time. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Blind. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? Well, I, I just, what I miss. I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here. What? Let me show you. Oh. It was a figurine? No. Hmm. What do we want? What is what this? What are we looking for? Hmm? What's this? Here. Yes. What? Oh, the... it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. Yay. I actually feel happy. <laughs> That's pretty cool, bro. No, wait. Where are you going? Right. Where were we? Wow. Uh... What is it, though? Look at that. That it? Pretty cool, actually. <laughs> oh no! Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Uh -oh. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. I don't want to kill myself. That's kind of depressing. Should I jump? This also doesn't work. I guess I killed myself, I guess. Chatters. Feel free to click it's on been a pleasure. See got a Twitch Prime sub available, but I'm huh? jumping off. Well, goodbye, crew no! wall. Oh. Oh. Thank God. You lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? No. No, no, what are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? It's kind of sad, what the fuck? Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? My God, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? What if it's so sad? I will go back to the room. Why am I so slow now? Yes. Perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? Ah, uh, I guess. I'm gonna kill myself. It's over. 
No, perhaps not. I'm going to kill myself. You kill yourself now. Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, My this God. one is yours. They're making us feel bad, Chatters, but... And this thing's kind of green, what the fuck? Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. My god! Jesus, dude! Oh, we got a phone call. What? Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Can Whoa. you verify that this is correct? Excellent. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We have a bunch of boxes in. Go through the window? What well, window, guys? We got something on. This window? I can't, Shadows. What are you on about? What the fuck? What? At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. What? He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. <laughs> so, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible what the fuck? and see how long you can maintain. Okay. There once was a man named Stanley, who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way. way. But his brain had long ceased to function. Which is why he is in this parable and lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yeah. You too will become quite unbearable. What the fuck? Is he gonna make me restart? He's, he's really gonna make me restart. Am 
my weight. Restart. Wait, what if I what, what if I Dude, what if I take the bucket and come back? I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, wait, what the Stanley fuck? thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? Why is there so many boxes? It's the box shipment. For fuck's sake, the box that I ordered? Are you serious? A good bucket. A strong bucket. A humble bucket. A committed bucket. A I want to try out one last ending, one last ending. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. I'm going to go left here. Stanley took the door on his left to go back, and so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight Let's ahead go. to the opposite door. This is pretty fun. Oh, good, Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place what? eventually. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. Your friends. It's this bucket the you're baby? carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. <laughs> yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving Wait, is the Adventure Wait, a fucking line? pencil sharper? We could make the Adventure Line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Let's go. Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? That's oh, really and he played some next silly time, music keep as it well. To Hi. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's, it's as classic what? now as it was back okay. then. Let's do it for the fans, <laughs> Stanley. Let's give Fucking them more what? content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Buckets? Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. I think it'll make a wonderful new oh addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. No. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. No! Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the Bucket Destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? 
Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you'd see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Do it, okay, Jack? the bucket destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure oh Mine or the bucket destroyer until What's you crush happening? that damn bucket. Quickly now, the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans What's what happening? they want. Hurry and. This got shot? What? The Bucket Destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, By you all were that is Holy Seven, the Fish Molly. The Buckets! You'll lock a boomer, this was two months. Oh wait, if you sell the aliens in your name, I, I appreciate it big time. Wait, it changed again, Chatters. It's different now. Ah, the embrace of an old friend. A weathered companionship that stands the test of time. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I think I kind of want to stop here. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ugh. I think I think at this point, I, I think there's like, like not that many endings anymore. I think we're already almost, already almost at the at the ending, um, at the maximum amount of ending, you know. Close. I don't think I've seen a game like this before. Definitely not. It looks there's so many. Uh, we need to purposely not do whatever he tells you to find more endings. Probably you'll do something you're so clueless. Well, I mean, we can do that on another time, right? Because I feel like if, if maybe we can do that tomorrow. But yeah, I think for now, I think for now it's definitely a time to stop. It was a good game though. That was actually a really good game, holy fuck.